Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore Microsoft Foundation class MFC desktop application inside of Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I've got lots of videos coming up. The Microsoft Foundation class MFC library provides an object oriented wrapper over much of the Win32 and COM APIs. It can be used to create very simple desktop applications, but it's most useful when you need to develop more complex user interfaces with multiple controls. MFC, you can use MFC to create applications with office style user interface. So rather than just talking too much here, yeah, let's get to it then. Obviously to be able to start or get started with MFC desktop applications, you have to actually download and install the extension inside the Visual Studio installer. So you have to open the Visual Studio installer if you, if you haven't. As you can see on the screen, I've got the Visual Studio installer open. So I'm just gonna use the Visual Studio community 2019 so I'm just gonna click on the more I mean the modify bit here so once we, we clicked on the modify bit we then we click on the individual components so we scroll down Okay, so I mean, my, my computer is x64, so you have to look at the architectures and actually choose whatever is applicable to you. So once you click on that, after you can see I've checked on this box here. So this includes headers and libraries for the development of MFC applications, including the multi byte character sets and the CS. So once you click on this bit here, then you can download and install it, yeah? So I've actually done that, so there's no need for that, right? So once you've actually sorted that bit, then we can close the, the VS installer. So once you've actually downloaded and installed the MFC extension for Visual Studio 2019, then we're going, we can go ahead and click on the create a new project. So as you can see here, I've already selected C++ and as you can see here, we've actually got a new, um, a new application templates added to the template list here. So here, as you can see, we've got MSC Dynamic Link Library, so MSC DLL. So this is for creating an MSC DLL and we've got an ActiveX control as well. So we can scroll down. Uh, we could just write MFC here. So we should get all the applications that we can actually create with MFC. So as you can see here now, I've actually got MFC up on the left side because I've actually created it recently. So just gonna wait. Uh, we scroll down so as you can see here now i've got mfc app so this build apps with complex user interface that actually run on windows right so we can select this bit here and then click on the next so here obviously we can configure the, the application details by setting the solution name and whatnot but we're not going to look too much into this so we're just going to click on the create so here we have this new dialog here so the mfc application type so we'll be able to select um, the type and other configuration of the mfc application right here so at the application type so we've got the single document the multiple documents dialog based application and multi-top 
level document so we just gotta leave it at multiple documents as default yeah so this application type options options is with a with a tabbed document document view architecture so this will actually create like a document style application right so here we can select a compound document so it's mini server container full server container and full server you can select what is actually applicable to you right so here the project style we're going to make it is we can make it as a msc standard application or a visual studio style application right or an office style application or windows explorer style application so we're just going to select office style application so the style and colors so we can choose whatever color that we actually want so we're just going to choose the black theme and then the resource language the used mfc in a shared dll so you can use you can either use in a shared dll or in a static dll so you can select whatever that is actually applicable to you right so next base of course we can click on the next so here we can further set some uh, some configurations if we what we need to but we're not going to do anything right we're just going to click on next again so here we can also select whatever um whatever that we need like the that like the minimize maximize box and all whatnot but we're not going to look too much into that right so we're just going to click on the next so here we can also make some advanced features settings right but we're not going to look too much into that as well so we click on the next so here we can select the generated class yeah so it's, it will be just an application mainframe child frame or document type whatever so we're just going to leave the whole thing as it is and click on the finish so we can get the application created so now as you can see here now we've got the application created so we come inside the source file so we've got this as the main application file with all the cpp functions or methods inside right then we've got the extend i mean external dependencies so this all the external dependencies that ap the application needs we've got um um this is the reference side yeah so what we do is we're just gonna run it to see what actually comes so we can f5 or just click on the local windows debugger so as you can see here now this is the application ap application that we've actually created the mfc application so it's more like an office style with the calendar bits the folder side so it's just a very simple microsoft office ap application right so as you can see so with the mfc you can create a very complex windows desktop application right so from the steps that we actually took yeah you can actually get started you can start with a blank um, mfc application and build whatever application that you actually want you can do that by just selecting the M msc application right so i'm just going to leave this video here so right now you can actually explore the the files for yourself and i hope this helps you to get started so once again if you actually haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are bless stay in peace bye bye